Hey, what's up folks? I'm super excited about this lesson. Here we have cows with rockets on their backs flying around, okay? This is one of the key ideas I had in my head when I created this course. I want to take somebody with no animation knowledge whatsoever and get them to make three cows with rockets on their backs with shooting flames, all right? So we're basically there right now. And in this exercise, we're gonna be doing a lot of the same basic stuff we've been doing in other exercises, but I'm gonna show you a few tricks. We're gonna show you how to access symbols from another files library. And we're also going to convert a timeline animation to an animated symbol, all right? This is really important. I'm gonna show you how to take frames from the main timeline and paste them into a symbol so we can reuse that symbol multiple times. So with that said, let's make some cows fly. All right, so for this exercise, I have rocket cow start opened up and rocket flames finished, which was our previous exercise where the rocket launched and had the awesome animated flames. Well, what I'm gonna do now is make a cow fly across the screen with a rocket pack. So first I wanna show you that inside of rocket cow start, I have a only a cow symbol in the library. I'm gonna take them out and let's just put them to the left of the stage. And I'm gonna go out to like frame number 60 and I'm gonna select frame 60 hit F6 to add a keyframe, and then I'm gonna drag the cow over to the right. Now, if I just drag the cow as he is, I can move him up and down and all over the place, but I wanna make sure I'm moving him in a straight line. So a little trick is if I hold down Shift and drag, that constrains him to only dragging horizontally, all right? So I'm just gonna move him off stage here by a bit, and then right click anywhere between those two frames to create a classic tween, and let's just test that out. Here I am generating the Swift file, and there you go. We have my cow flying across the stage. Moo. Now, I think it would look much cooler if this cow had a rocket pack with animated flames, right? So let's close that off. Now, in this file, I do not have a rocket pack with animated flames. It's living in this file over here. Now, I could select the rocket, copy it, and paste it into my document, but I wanna show you a little trick. I'm gonna to go to rocket cow start, and I want the rocket to be on the cow, so let me just double click on the symbol in the library. That's gonna take us into symbol edit mode for the cow, all right? So here I'm seeing the timeline of the cow symbol. These are all the vector shapes that make up the cow. Now, when I look at the library, it tells me which file this library is associated with, and this is the rocket cow start library. But I wanna show you that this is also a drop-down menu and it allows me to choose the libraries of other open files. So I can switch over to the Rocket Flames Finished Files library and there I see the rocket. So what I'm gonna do is just point out one more time, I'm inside Rocket Cow Start, but I'm seeing the library of Rocket Flames Finished. So I'm just gonna take the rocket out of the library and place it next to the cow over here and then I'm gonna switch back to the Rocket Cow Start library, and I wanna show you now that in the library I have the rocket, I have the rocket body, and the flames. So all the symbols that were inside the rocket come with it, okay? Now, in the cow symbol here, I'm just going to rotate the rocket around a little bit and just put it right on the cow's back so it looks cool, all right? So it's sitting right up there. So now my cow has inside of it a rocket. And if I double click on that rocket, we go inside symbol edit mode for the rocket and you'll see that we have our flame symbol. And if I double click on that, you'll see that we have the animated sequence that we built in the last exercise. So in the edit bar, you'll see we're inside of flames, inside of rocket, inside the cow on scene one. So let me go back to scene one. We'll do a command enter to test the movie out. And now what do we have? We have a cow flying with a rocket pack, all right? This is awesome. And this silly stuff like this is exactly why I love Animate CC. It's real easy to make and it makes me laugh. All right, so let's close this. Let's bring this artwork back into view. We'll click on this button here. Perfect. Now this is all well and good, but I just realized that I love this animation so much. Wouldn't it be cool if we had multiple cows flying across the stage? Now, I could create new layers and copy and paste these frames into new layers, uh, but that's kind of a drag. What I wanna do is create an animated movie clip that contains the cow flying from left to right, and then I'm gonna put multiple instances of that symbol on the stage. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just 
zoom out a little bit on my timeline so that I can see all these frames. So in other words, what I want to do is take this animation here and put it inside of its own movie clip that I can then reuse, all right? So I'm gonna select frame one, click and drag to highlight and select all those frames to frame number 60. And I'm going to right click and do a cut frames, okay? And so now those frames have gone away and we see nothing in this layer, all right? Just a blank keyframe. So now what I'm going to do is go to insert new symbol and I'm gonna call it cow flying and hit okay. And then you'll see that we have this sort of blank stage, all right, we have one blank keyframe here and there's nothing inside of the cow flying symbol. I'm just going to right click and do a paste frames. And so now inside of that symbol, we have the cow flying with the rocket pack. I'm gonna go back to scene number one. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit by hitting command minus. Let's go back to frame number one here, all right. I'm gonna take cow flying, place it on the stage, and I wanna show you that now if I do a command return to test this movie, there we go. There's the cow flying with the rocket pack. I'm gonna actually take him, I'm gonna rotate him a little bit, and I'm gonna do a command C, command V, which is a copy and paste to make another copy. On the Mac, you can also do an option drag and I'm gonna take this one here, just scale it down, make it a little bit smaller. Uh, I'll take this one here, scale them down, make them a little bit smaller, put them up here. You know, maybe move things around just a little bit. All right, so here's the general idea. I have multiple cows with rocket packs in one frame of my timeline. Next time I test, check it out. Awesome, we have an army of flying cows with rocket packs. How awesome is that? And as always, next we're going to have the follow along video with all the instructions step by step labeled on screen as I do them, so it's super easy for you to get this done. Check it out. Hey, what's up? Real quick, if you like the video, please consider giving a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to get notified when new videos come out, just click that little bell. Ding dong. If you got any comments, leave them below. I'll read every one and do my best to help you. Have an awesome day. And if you want a better understanding of Animate CC, please check out my course, Animate CC for Everyone. It's for absolute beginners and it's loaded with videos to teach you everything you need to know about working with the timeline and symbols. It's loaded with practice files and detailed step-by-step -step instructions. So check it out. I think you're gonna be really impressed with what you can do once you understand the basics of Animate CC. Thanks for watching. Normal